This is a shakedown. What is going on, guys? Oh my god, it's been so long. I miss you guys so much. I know, I know. I've been MIA for a while. But guess what? I'm finally back in Vietnam after two years of being stuck in Vancouver because of COVID. Uh, oh my god. I've been back here actually for two weeks now and it's just been very tough with the weather, uh, Enzo getting used to, you know, the weather, the milk, she was puking, I was like sick for like the first week and just finally getting back on track now. But what we're going to do today is I'm going to take you around my neighborhood and I'm going to take you to spots I usually eat for breakfast around here. And a little bit of an update, if you guys don't know, I'll be staying in Haifa for the next few months uh, just to work on a few things before we go back home which is Ho Chi Minh City so expect to see a lot of great content here in Haiphong okay guys uh, what are you waiting for let's just go and tour the neighborhood before we leave the house but wait until you see what I see every morning when I open the door okay here we go So here it is, every morning when I walk outside and guess what, I got a supermarket right in front of me. Hello, hello, go! Hello, hello. See, check this out. <laughs> this is where actually right in front of my house. I can get I garlic, <laughs> onion, I can get beans, I can get cucumber. Uh, check this out, tomato, okay? We've got an auntie right here. She's getting uh, the pineapples cut and they're 10,000 for one which is about, uh, I think a dollar. No, no, not even a dollar, 50 cents, right here. And then check this out, watermelon right in front of my door. How awesome is that? I don't even have to walk anywhere. And if you guys want some chicken, let me go across the street, okay? Hello, hello, hello. Check this out, live chicken you can get on the spot, uh, she will cut it, skin it for, for you and all ready to go. How awesome but, is this? This is so, so exciting. And oh my God, I look like a fool right now, walking on the street, speaking English. And the crazy part is, I understand Vietnamese, so I know exactly what they're saying. Uh, we're gonna keep on touring, okay? Until the alley where all the food is. store that I always get uh, my stuff at. You got, uh, Enzo loves the cookies here. Cookies, garbage bags, you got beers. Uh, you got pretty much everything you need. And across the street right there, we got a bakery. And you can buy some eggs right there. And guess what? Check this out. Oysters, you got some fresh. Oh, look, we got up right here. Every single kind. And we got some quail eggs right there. And if anybody wants some jewelry, you can come right here. I see. And then we got, okay, we're gonna go across the street, okay? Roasted pork. Check this out. Live on the spot, roasted pork you can get. What do you mean? Oh, hello, hello, go! <laughs> See? Amazing aunties. We're gonna keep on walking. Right there. Go, 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 hi, mega, and go, no, why? Hello! See? We got this auntie selling her pork right there. We got two legs. Bye bye! Nyan, which is goose. Right there, look at that. Good night, uh, to quite to get YouTube, no, why, tell? Wow. And anybody want some pork? We got an auntie chopping up some pork right here. How amazing is that? We're gonna keep on walking. Everyone is like staring at me right now. Oh, more, more pork. Let's go. Let's keep on walking. Damn, look at how crispy that is. And everything here I'm walking is within like half a block. Look at that. And if you guys want some flowers, we got some flowers right here. You want to give your girlfriend some flowers, your mother, anyone. We got a bakery right in front of us. Check out this bakery. We got some fresh fruit right here. And here's a little convenience store that I always go to. You can buy newspaper right here or, you know, napkins. And here's like a, a Rona or a Home Depot where you can buy like stuff you can fix your house with. Vermicelli on the street right here. You can buy it in like 25 cents, 50 cents, whatever you want. <laughs> this is so fun walking around speaking English, especially in my neighborhood. Um, yeah, I don't think they know I have a YouTube channel. So I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? 
uh, we're, we're gonna keep on walking here. And trust me, from my house to the alley I always eat, it's probably within one block. And you see what you can get within that one block. I do not have to go to a supermarket, but there are some great supermarkets here with a lot of good food court, but we'll leave that for next time. You guys want some bang me? We got bang me right here, uh, bang me kwea, which is like a high pong special. It's like a smaller a sandwich. And you, honestly, you can eat like 10 or 20 of those. So bang me after bang me, we got another bakery right there. And check this out right here. Oh my God. How amazing is that? Fresh on the street. And we got more bananas, but the alley I actually want to take you guys Two is right behind me, but we're just gonna walk up a bit more to see what else there is here. There's more bang me bate right there, bang me bate. We got some bao right here with some more bang me bate. Here is the alley that I always eat at. People are just gonna grab a stool, you're gonna sit down and you're gonna order your bowl. Say hi. See, this is about it's about um, eight o'clock in the morning right now, and everyone's just getting breakfast. Hi go, tigong kwai lai konan. See, we got an auntie right here preparing her food. Uh, this is bang da. Ga. Ga, right? And we got, a, we got a pot right here boiling and she'll sell out till probably the afternoon. She works uh, two shifts. The early morning things open about 5.30, 6 a.m. here. And then she'll close around 12 or 1 and she'll come back in the evening again. You going quite yeah? Gonna keep on walking down this alley. There's more food down there. We got bikes parked all around here. We got houses right here. Oh, one stall is close today, but this one's really good too. This is Bangda Cool. We're gonna eat here next, okay? We got the auntie sitting right there with our pot, and we got all the vegetables right there, and she's just preparing it as people order. I just got a seat. It's a bit hot today. It's actually not too bad compared to all the other days. Uh, all you're gonna do is you're just gonna sit down. You're gonna let her know you want a bowl and she's gonna get it ready for you and you're just gonna enjoy it. Hey, just grab yourself a seat. Honestly, there's no specific seat. If there's any chair open, just sit down or else somebody's gonna jump on it first. Oh my God, I never knew everyone here is so, so friendly. Everyone's like, yo, eat, find out what I found. Trying to wave to the camera. Cause you know what, when you speak English, you're gonna stand out. I was just sitting down and this nice auntie right here just brought me my bowl. She doesn't even work here. She's just like, sit down, say hi. She's just like, sit down and you know, I'll bring you your bowl. But here you go. This is one bowl right here, which is about 20,000 Vietnam dollars, which is about, I think, $1 Canadian. How awesome is this? $1 Canadian. The uncle just gave me some hot sauce. We got some kumquat right here. And you got the nice crab meat right here. You see that? Beautiful. Lots of herbs, lots of onions, uh, cilantro. We got some kind of uh, meatball here. Pork patty with the uh, leaf wrap around it. This is so good. Bang that cool, this is what it's called, okay? We got the nice noodles right here. Noodles here are totally different from Canada. <laughs> some guy was just making a joke. He's like, yo, you're gonna be famous now in Canada because I'm filming and making, speaking English. And we got some nice herbs right here, vegetables. <laughs> this is so, so fun. We got an uncle right here who just asked for my YouTube channel and everyone around here is just surrounding and it's so awesome. Everyone's so, so friendly. And they're like, hey, hey, how would Bánh đa cua vào chú. It's like, yo, eat before your noodles expand. Okay, we're gonna eat, okay? Bowl of bánh đa cua right here, as you can see. Everyone's just saying, eat, eat, eat before it gets cold. I love this ambiance. Just sitting on a stool, a nice simple chair, and you have a nice bowl of soup. Take this off. We're not gonna put any condiments in yet. We're just gonna eat that as it is. Love these noodles. This is probably one of my favorite dish here in Haiphong. Mmm. It's so good. It's so simple. Wow, but the broth though. You can really taste the crabbiness in the broth. And it's not too sweet. It's not too salty. It's just crabby. Nice little meatball right here. Mm. So good.
So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put some, uh, we're gonna elevate it a bit. We're gonna put some hot sauce. And we're gonna put some kumquat. This is how you're supposed to do it in Vietnam, okay? You're supposed to put your kumquat on here, on a spoon. And you only take the juice. Right here, I know this is kind of weird. I When I first came to Vietnam, people were always throwing it on the ground and it's actually normal to just throw your um, trash on the ground. Let's go in for the perfect bite. Look at that. Nice, beautiful, bouncy noodles. I love the texture and the color, nice and brown. Got some vegetables right there. Mm. Taste it down with some soup. Oh my God, this is so good. Pork wrapped with uh, some kind of leaf. We call this la lot in Vietnamese. Beautiful plate, beautiful bowl. Mm, the soup is just perfect. Oh, I think I need some vegetable. Go ahead, cho con xin một tí rau nhỉ? Oh, cháu cảm ơn cô nhá. Oh my god, this lady is so nice. She's just like sitting here eating, but she's bringing me all my food because she knows I'm filming. Got some nice herbs right here. You can either eat it fresh or just put it right in your bowl. Okay, we're gonna mix it. Here's a nice bite. Fresh herb, bouncy noodles. Let's go. Mm. Say hi, this is a nice auntie. Oh my gosh, she's so nice. This is why I love Vietnam. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's so funny. She's parked that way, she lives that way, but she was going back this way and she took a few steps and then she's like, yo, I think I went the wrong way. So she just wanted to say hi to Karma. Such a friendly lady. Mm. Eat with some fresh herbs. I actually like dipping my vegetables into the noodles to make it a bit soft and eating it right away. Mm. Oh, oh. I found another kind of meatball right here. You got about, I think it was two or three meatball. You got one, um, it's like a ball uh, out. Two, two, two actually, I found another one. So it's not too bad. So like I say, it's actually normal throwing trash on the ground after you eat because they clean up after. So this is totally normal as you can see, okay? So don't be disgusted, don't be weirded out if you see that. That was a good bowl of bánh đa cua. Not only cost me 20K, which is about $1 Canadian. How awesome is that? Uh, let's move on. I'm gonna try to find some more food and maybe we'll get some sandwich after. Hi. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Cô ơi, cô bán đây bao nhiêu lâu rồi? 50 năm rồi. Ừ, bao nhiêu? 50 năm. 50 năm á? Cô nói thật là cô trẻ như vậy mà 50 năm. Ô tô từ đời mẹ à? Oh wow, so she's been in this corner alley for 50 years now. Uh, 50 years, I know, she doesn't even look. She's like probably 40 something. But it's from her mother passed on to her. And she's still at this amazing little alley. Ờ, như vậy một phần cô bán đây bán bao nhiêu? Bamingi. So one order is 30k, which is about a dollar fifty Canadian. One bowl. Or Babachami Magana. Or else you can get 300 uh, k for one mukanga. For one chicken. She sells a whole chicken too. Or else you can order 40, 50, 60k, whatever you want. Your portion to be. <laughs> This is what you get for 30,000. So you got your kumquat, which comes with uh, its self-serving. Uh, you got your side of vegetables right here, fresh vegetables. And you get a nice bowl of bun right here. Vermicelli, uh, you got your onions, you got your cilantro, nice simple broth, and here. Here's the chicken, okay, that I asked for. So I asked for the breast. Um, so it's just like bathing 
in a bowl of sauce, which has uh, red onion. I think this might be a different kind of lip balm or something. Well, anyways, it's the sauce for this chicken. So it's just laying in there. Nice piece of chicken breast. Nice little skin on there. Woo! Everyone here is so friendly. I'm not kidding you. I got about 10 people asking for my channel already. And this is the nice thing about Vietnam, especially on the streets. Everyone is so friendly and they're not afraid to talk to you or just say hi. Let's go for this chicken first. Bathe in this nice sauce. The chicken breast. Mm. Nice, meaty, juicy chicken breast. But the sauce, man, the sauce is so good. It's like a fish sauce, but made their way. We got some nice onion, red onion right here. Mm. Take some vegetables and dip it in the sauce of the chicken. It's so good. Mmm. Mm. Oh, and there's a side of chili and uh, I think MSD. It's getting this nice bowl of soup. This bowl of soup is so simple, but it's so good. Hi, go. Come on, come on. Come on. Here's another auntie that just wanted to come by, say hi, say hi. So, but, she just came by and said, yo, my daughter went to school with Queenie. So, small world. Everyone knows each other in this neighborhood. And as they're eating, you're gonna have, this is an alley, remember that. So you're gonna have bikes, and you're gonna have motorcycles just zooming by, honking. And honking in Vietnam is a totally normal thing. It's just to tell you, hey, move, get out of the way. Okay. Nice noodles. But you don't understand, man. This broth is so good. It's not overdone. Oh, so simple, so good. All you taste is the bones. This is what I love about Vietnam. You can just sit here, you can chat to anyone sitting beside you, and everyone's just so friendly. Got this nice piece of chicken. So good. I don't even know what to say. Gotta get some chili in. Gotta get some vegetables in. Everyone to the party. Mix everything in. Wow. Okay. One. You can stick in. I am a happy man. And remember, if you're in Vietnam, you want to cross the street, just cross. People will dodge you, so don't be afraid. So this is the auntie right here that said hi to me earlier. Chào chào cô. Cô từ từ làm. Một một cái này bao nhiêu? 25 000 25 000 được bao nhiêu cái? 10. So you can get a pack of bánh mì quẻ like this right here for 25k and you get about 10 of them. So 25k is about a dollar 50. Look at that, this is nicely packed right there. And you got your fresh made bate right here every morning. Bate kiel. And you can get some drinks right there. And what I got, what I just ordered, was a bánh mao, a bao right here. <laughs> okay, 15,000, 15,000. This is uh, 15,000 for uh, one bánh bao, which is the bun. Uh, and then this is just on the house. I ate too much, so she just gave me one on the house. Go good, go there. Okay, say bye bye to the auntie. Bye bye, go. Come on, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna walk and we're gonna eat this, okay? Okay. We got this is a bite meat guy right here. So a small mini bite meat. If you open it, you see that? There's pate inside. Mmm. This fresh bread has just been made. You can smell it. So good. Mm. I'm enjoying this. I'm just gonna stand here for a second and eat this. There's just so many bikes in front of me. Check, check it out, check it out, check it out. Okay. 
We're gonna keep on going. I said, you know what? I feel like I feel like coffee. Let's go get a coffee. Cause actually, a lady I saw right over there in the corner, and she sells coffee. This auntie, she just walks around and she sells like everyday stuff. You can buy a basket, you can buy a little stool, you can buy a dusting, and she just walks around selling it. And I think they're getting ready for a wedding right here. But check all these fruits out. I'm gonna walk across here and show you these nice fruits. Okay, just walk, just walk, just walk, just walk. Look at this. And this is just all sitting here. Okay, we're gonna try to go find some coffee. This is actually the way I um, ride every morning to the gym. See, fresh vegetables right here. So what she does, her bike is right here. She'll just, you know, ride around everywhere, yelling out, um, uh, you know, the herbs and see if anyone wants to buy it. I go, bye bye. And the thing about Vietnam is, Anytime you want to ask something, they're always willing to help you or point you out to um, what you're looking for. So I'm going to keep on walking. Oh my God, check this out, dude. Fresh coconut. Look at that. Fresh coconut on the spot. Fresh coconut on the spot. What he does right here is he peels it and he takes out the coconut water. Okay, and then you can buy it. Hi. Đây là kênh YouTube của em nước ngoài. Chào, anh bán bao nhiêu uh, bao nhiêu tiền một cốc uh, 10.000. It's 10,000 Vietnam dollars for a cup of fresh coconut juice. So 50 cents. And he's taking out the inside of it and he's selling it separately. Okay, bye bye. Cảm ơn anh nhá. Okay, so you got durian on the street. You got avocado. They cut it up already for you. It's 180,000 Vietnam dollars, okay? So it's about uh, I think $10 just for this much durian. Oh, you can get fresh juice right here. Pineapple, watermelon, whatever you want. She'll uh, make it for you. This is where we always get it too. And we got, she got the, she's doing the sugar cane right there. She's a little shy. Hold on, I just ordered myself a coffee and all these aunties right across the street, they're looking at me and I was like, are you guys shy? So they're like, no. Okay, we're gonna go over and talk to them, okay? Chào chào các cô. Okay, so I just asked them what they're doing and if they ate breakfast or not, and they're so nice. Ah, cái này kênh YouTube của con ở bên nước ngoài. Các cô muốn chào mọi người không? And this is uh, đây là ông chủ, đây là Big Boss. Yeah, uh, this is Big Boss of the, the neighborhood, I guess. Uh, okay, bye bye. Uh, I'm gonna actually sit down in the coffee shop and I'm gonna wait for my coffee and I'm gonna have this nice, big, fluffy bike bow for you guys, okay? You know what I see over there? Tuk Lao. I don't know if you guys know what Tuk Lao is. So it's like a Vietnamese tobacco. I'm just trying to think, should I do, I don't smoke, but I'm just trying to think, should I do it for the camera? You know what, we're gonna do it for the camera. So you got a big bong right here, chill this bong. And you got your Vietnamese tobacco right here. So you're gonna take, <laughs> he's like, just smoke a bit, okay? Or else you're gonna pass out. So you got your tobacco right here. You're gonna stick it right here. Kids, don't try this at home. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna match it up and you're gonna take this right here, okay? And you're gonna suck it in and out, in and out for a bit just to get it going. Okay, that wasn't good. I'm such a noob at this. Now you gotta go and you're gonna spit this out. Oh man. And what you have to do after is chase it down with the tea. 
Ah, you know what? Today I'm just having fun, man. I'm just showing you guys around you know, the neighborhood. There's nothing planned. I'm just going along with it, okay? You got your nice black coffee right here. Black coffee in Vietnam is so much more different from Canada. It is strong. Nice small ice. Look at this black consistency. Oh, oh, it's so hot. We get into this nice bow, okay? That's how you do it. See, that's how you do it. Em bảo làm như vậy mới là đúng. So you take this, uh, it's just like a paper wrapper at the bottom off. I'm gonna open it up. Wow, look at that. You got eggs in here, you got Chinese sausage, you got pork, you got dried uh, mushroom. Wow. It's so good. 15k. 75 cents. 75 cents. How crazy is that? Mm. Woo! I am done. I am done. I so oh my god, I ate so much this morning. And it's about 9:30 a.m. right now. But oh my god, what a great experience. Just walking around the neighborhood uh, of where you live and getting to know everyone and how friendly friendly everyone is everyone just wants to help everyone just wants to you know talk to you see what you're doing uh but guys i am done i'm actually walking like i said she's a bit she's a bit shy of when is she rats and uh, she's just selling meat right here let's go say hi to these grandma Chào chào bà, đây là kênh YouTube nước ngoài của con. Vâng vâng. These are just these grandmas right here. They're just sitting. They're hanging out. They're chatting. <laughs> đây. And then we got we got our wow, coconut friends over there. Say hi. We just filmed them earlier. How awesome is this? Chào chào cả nhà nhá. Vâng vâng vâng. This is so funny. <laughs> I'm having such a blast, man. This is so awesome. I don't even know what to say. I don't even want to stop filming. But hey guys, you know what? I am done for the morning. I'm gonna head home right now. But oh see 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 hold on. They're stopping me again. Chào chị. Bạn đây là chị à? Chị à? Chị bán đây lâu chưa? Lâu rồi. Lâu rồi à? Quay của anh làm gì? À sao? Vậy em đang quay cho kênh YouTube nước ngoài của em. Vâng 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 vâng. Ok em cảm ơn chị nhé. Chào chào. See see bye bye. Like I said, see how awesome was that? Okay, I'm gonna call it a day. We're gonna go home, we're gonna relax now. And I will probably see you guys in Hanoi in a few days. I'm gonna head up there for just a night and we're gonna visit my grandma. I will see you guys soon. Stay tuned, a peace.